This video is on the objective perform operations on vectors in terms of the vectors i and j. Right. So before I get into the problem, right, if you want to see more on the topic, click on more instruction. Look at their videos, their notes, their examples, and hopefully those help. And I'll show you some of those notes here. So performing operations on vectors in terms of i and j. Remember i, I'll actually write this up right now, because uh, they aren't really, just to refresh your memory, if, if you have, or if you haven't seen it yet. Um, i, this vector i, not, not the number i. Right. Some people often confuse this. Don't confuse this with the number i, the square root of negative 1. It's not that. Uh, in the coordinate plane, this vector i is just the vector in which you move one unit to the right. So if you wrote it as a position vector with that wedge notation, it would be the vector 1, 0. All right. So on the coordinate plane, you know, the vector i, there's, you know, say one unit to the right there, uh, the vector i is this vector here, starting at the origin. I move right one unit. There's, there's i. Okay. Simple, simple enough. And the vector j is, you know, i is one unit right, j on the coordinate plane is the vector that travels you, you know, one unit up. So if I were putting that in the standard vector notation with the wedges, it would have components 0, comma, 1. So again on this picture, here's one on the on the vertical axis. The vector j is this vector, starting from the origin, say, moving just one unit up. Here is vector j. Alright, so very very simple, these vectors i and j. Okay. And every vector can be written in terms of, you know, using these i's and j's, but that's another objective, right? You'll see out of their videos where I go over doing that. And it's pretty simple, I feel. All right. <clears throat> so when vectors are written in terms of i and j, we can carry out addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication by performing operations on corresponding components, meaning stick i's with i's and j's with j's, and if you're multiplying by a scalar, you just multiply you know, both components, the i component and the j component, by that same scalar. It's the same as earlier. It's simply a matter of performing the operations as normal and combining the like terms. All right, so I show you an example here. You know, if v is written as a i plus b j, that means right or left a units, up or down b units. Because again, i i corresponds to moving in the horizontal direction, as you saw in my drawing. j corresponds moving in the vertical direction. So the the coefficients basically just tell you how far right or left and how far up or down you have to move. And u is c i plus d j. You know, adding them, you just add the i components, add the j components. Subtracting them, same thing. If I was multiplying by a scalar, just multiply, you know, basically use the distributive property. Right. And they give you some examples down here, and I'll, I'll let you read through the examples on your own. All right. So for instance, say we're given u is, you know, 7i plus 9j, and v is the vector 5i minus 10j. Uh, what would be the new vector u minus v? And they want us to you know, write our final answer using the i's and j's. Again, very simple transition. So I'm going to go to a piece of paper here. So u is the vector, you know, 7 times vector i plus 9 times vector j. Well, again, this would just mean write 7 units up nine units. So if you want, 
uh, you could rewrite this if you wanted to with that wedge notation, right, with the the standard position vector notation, where, you know, seven, the i component goes in the first component, right, so seven, and then the j component is the second component, positive nine. So you could write it like that as well. And there is a whole other, there, there are some other videos where you go back and forth between these, you know, that's a whole other objective in this, in this assignment. Uh, then I got vector v is given to us as 5 times vector i minus 10 times j. And this would just mean write 5 down 10. So in that standard position vector notation, the wedge notation, I'd have, you know, 5 for the first component, negative 10 uh, for the second component. Now they're asking us to find, you know, they're asking us to find u minus v, right? Well, minus v, right? Minus v is just multiplying this by negative 1. So I'd have negative 5i plus 10j. Or if you want in the components here, that'd be negative 5 for the first component, positive 10 for the second. And then I'm adding these. All right, we're adding u and minus v to get u minus v. Or you could just take u and v here and subtract the components, right? So 7 minus 5, 2. Or 7 plus negative 5, 2. 9 minus negative 10, or 9 plus 10, would be 19. Now, if you had in the wedge notation, it would be like this. But you can very easily translate this back to that i and j notation. This would be 2 times vector i plus 19 times vector j. And this is how they want us to enter the answer. Very, very simple. If you know how to do your vector addition and scalar multiplication from an earlier assignment, uh, this shouldn't be that much of a stretch, right? You just have these i's and j's to worry about now. Remember, i just corresponds to the first component, j to the second component. So it's, uh, what, 2i plus 19j. And that's it. That's how we want, they want us to enter it. Great. And they do it with a combined like terms and stuff, you know, 7i minus 5i is 2i. 9j minus negative 10j would be 19j. So you could easily do that as well, kind of treat them like expressions with variables, even though i and j are not variables, they're vectors. Okay, so hopefully watching me go over this, you know, looking at the more instruction if you need to reading the answer explanations when they come up, you know, because they may do things a little differently than I do, but they'll still work, right? Just make sure you understand what's going on. I'm hoping all this stuff helps you, right, when you're going about doing this on your own. And thank you very much for watching.